Hi, so you would like to know what happens when you cross a tall homozygous pea plant with a dwarf homozygous pea plant. This is a genetics question and the best way to answer this question is by using what's called a Punnett square. And a Punnett square is basically one large square divided up into four roughly equal sized squares, okay? We're going to use the capital letter T to represent our dominant allele, and we're going to use the lowercase letter T to represent the non-dominant allele. So we are crossing a tall homozygous with a dwarf homozygous. Homozygous means same, which means if we're looking at a tall homozygous gene genotype, we're going to represent it with capital letter T and capital letter T. If we're looking at a dwarf homozygous, we're gonna use a lowercase letter t to represent that dwarf allele. If it's homozygous, again, meaning the same, you're going to have two lowercase letters represented on the left-hand side of the Punnett square. Conventionally, when we do a cross, um, the capital letter usually goes first if there are capital letters to be included, which of course we do have to represent the dom dominant alleles. So we're going to cross this uh, lowercase letter T with the capital letter T. And what we come out with is capital T, lowercase t. We're gonna do the same thing going this way, this lowercase or this dwarf allele rather with this dominant allele. And we get the same result. Coming down to this lowercase letter T which represents the dwarf allele. We're gonna cross the lowercase t with the capital letter T to get capital T, lowercase t. And then for the last time, we do the same thing, going this way. And we get capital T and lowercase t. So as far as genotype is concerned, what's in these boxes is what we are looking at, okay? So when it comes to answering the question of what is the ratio of the genotype, we can see that it's all 100% capital T, lowercase t. Okay. When we're describing the phenotype, meaning what we see on the outside, what we can see with our naked eye, what we're seeing is that across all these four boxes, we're seeing a dominant allele, right? Since we said at the beginning that the capital letter T represents the dominant allele, we're gonna see that the phenotype will represent tall plants, all tall plants, because each of these four squares contain that capital T, which we said represents the dominant, uh, dominant allele, which is the tall gene. So we're going to have 100% tall plants because in all four of these boxes, after we worked out our Punnett square, we see that all four of the boxes contain the capital letter T. That capital letter T represents tall, it's the dominant allele. So we're going to have one, two, three, four tall plants. So 100% capital T, lowercase t genotype, 100% tall phenotype. I hope this helps. Thank you.